Uh, good morning, I'm Buddhi Pereira, a postgraduate student from Columbia Medical Faculty. Uh, my study is Perspectives of Healthcare Providers on Physical Activity Promotion in Healthy Lifestyle Centers in Western Province, Sri Lanka. Uh, as we all know, physical inactivity is a major risk factor for uh, chronic uh, non-communicable diseases. Therefore, there is an increased global need to empower people to engage in physical activity. Healthy lifestyle centers uh, provide uh, health guidance to uh, modify lifestyles uh, to prevent uh, NCDs in Sri Lanka. And uh, physical activity promotion is uh, one of its objectives. But uh, the utility of this physical activity promotion programs at HLCs is, was under research. Therefore, uh, my study's uh, primary aim was to describe the perspectives of healthcare providers on physical activity promotion in healthy lifestyle centers in Western province, Sri Lanka. I conduct a qualitative phenomenological study at selected HLCs in Western province. A quota sampling method was used to recruit the sample. We conducted 13 semi-structured interviews uh, with uh, six medical officers and seven nursing officers uh, involved in physical activity promotion. And all the interviews were audio taped and transcribed. Ultimately, data were analyzed uh, using a framework analysis method. With the data analysis, uh, we uh, found two ma main themes. There were strengths of current interventions and barriers for the program. Healthcare providers at HLCs uh, highlighted the following attributes as strengths of their current interventions. There were uh, self-directed participation, improving awareness and motivation on physical activity, better health outcomes after interventions, utilization of limited resources, providing free service for an economically disadvantaged population group, security provided by a government institute, and social empowerment. And they perceived neuromuscular complications of clients, inadequate number of trained staff, not having a suitable area to conduct the exercise program, lack of necessary instruments, and less number of male participation at the program, as barriers for the program. So we conclude our study as current interventions at healthy lifestyle centers had created many positive inputs to promote physical activity among a group of population with risk of non-communicable diseases. But there are considerable barriers to continue these programs at healthy lifestyle centers in Western province. So we recommend to develop strategies to overcome these barriers to have more successful uh, programs in future. Thank you.